Nkwecho. The President. Le Président. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise des débats. We would like to now hand over to the co-prosecutor to continue putting questions Je to the witness. Je laisse la parole au procureur pour qu'il puisse poursuivre son interrogatoire. Thank you, Mr. President. Le procureur. Good afternoon. Merci, Good afternoon, Mr. Rokoff. Bon après-midi, uh, Mr. Rokoff. When we broke for lunch. Um, you were describing the moment that you moved to the French embassy and during which time you saw um, many Khmer Rouge troops marching into the city on one side of the road and residents of Phnom Penh walking out of the city on the other side. Did, uh, did the people who were being forced to leave Phnom Penh include the elderly and sick? Parmi eux, y avait-il des personnes âgées et des malades? Uh, yes. As Effectivement. For the 17th of April, early evening, the lines of civilians headed north. Uh, it was families to include elderly. Il y avait parmi ceux qui la ville des familles qui as for the sick or pour ce qui est infirm being kicked malades, out of the hospitals such as Calmet. I did not see that until the second day looking out from the French embassy. Je l'ai vu you would see j'observais depuis l'ambassade de France. In one case a patient being pushed on a journey un patient poussé sur une civière. Uh, people on crutches. Des but uh, the Calmet Hospital was being emptied. Mais il est vrai que l'on vidait l'hôpital Calmet. And you were able to Question. observe the uh, uh, emptying of the Cal Vous Calmet Hospital from the premises of the de French Embassy? Cette évacuation de l'hôpital Calmet depuis l'enceinte de l'ambassade de France? Only to where we could see people headed north past Seulement the French embassy. We could not see the Calmet itself où les gens from our, se dirigeaient vers le nord the embassy. Euh, devant l'ambassade. Depuis l'ambassade de France, on ne pouvait pas voir l'hôpital uh, Mr. Rokoff, the, the defense in this case has claimed that the evacuation la of Phnom Penh was in part a humanitarian mission de Phnom Penh était necessary une because of food shortages in Phnom Penh. Pour des motifs de pénurie de nourriture uh, my, dans la ville. Uh, question for you is, did you see Khmer Rouge forces making any effort to provide si food, water, medicine, or other humanitarian Rouge assistance to evacuees who were leaving the city? Soit en leur de la nourriture ou des médicaments. I did not see any assistance provided by the Khmer Rouge. As for assisting people with food, uh, there was some provided to people in the French Embassy. Vegetables, uh, we were given one pig a day, which was butchered and had to feed quite a few people. But that was just what the Khmer Rouge allowed us to have. I have no idea what was going on regarding provisioning of aucune idée de ce qui se passait en termes de provision de nourriture de fourniture de, de ou d'assistance quand on est en something you mentioned this morning um, we had talked about question the uh, red cross having medical operations at the hotel à savoir que la croix rouge avait établi des opérations did the Khmer Rouge allow the red cross to continue its activities à la croix rouge de poursuivre including its medical operating room at the uh, hotel sa opération qu'elle avait à l'hôtel le pnom No, the Red Cross had to evacuate La along with everybody else. And the group of people I was with, to include Sidney Schoenberg, John Swain Dithpron, we were following some Red Cross people. Um, it was a small vehicle that they were pushing. A lot of people pushed instead of driving because Khmer Rouge would stop you from driving. But pushing a vehicle was 
Okay, car si vous conduisez la voiture les couleurs rouges, vous arrêtez. So there were, si was a small vehicle with red cross and lot of other vehicles pour la croix rouge avec uh, that arrived at the embassy at the same time I did. Arrivé à l'ambassade de France en même temps que moi. Were, were you present at the hotel uh, when the Red Cross was ordered to leave, or did you uh, simply witness them uh, moving out of the hotel ahead of you? I did not witness the Red Cross being ordered out. Je pas remarqué, the je pas été time interval at the front, after leaving the Ministry of Information, stopping at the J'ai quitté le ministère hotel de l'Information, nous nous sommes things. arrêtés we were there à un hôtel pour récupérer quelques effets, nous y étions que 15, que quelques 15 minutes. The evacuation was in force from the hotel at that point, so I did not see the Red Cross being ordered out. But Donc, je n'ai pas été présent lorsqu'ils avaient reçu l'ordre, mais ils quittaient en même temps. I want to turn now to a few questions. Um, from the period that you were at the French Embassy. And then, can you start by telling us the time period um, uh, after you arrived at the French Embassy on the 17th, evening of the 17th of April, uh, how long did you remain uh, at the Embassy? Uh, I was there for about two and a half crossed into Thailand, Thai border, uh, I believe the ninth, avec la Thailand. two days, two and a half days to get there from the French Embassy. Uh, so it was from the 17th till uh, le 19, I'm ça not fait certain which date the convoy left, maybe the 6th. I'm hazy on that. Peut-être que le convoi, le camion était parti. When you say the 6th, you're six. talking about May. You were, it was sometime, nous sommes allés dans le temps de la date de la date de la date Le procureur. Quand vous dites le 6, vous parlez du mois de mai. Vous avez quitté l'ambassade au début du mois de mai. Yes, Réponse. 6 mai. Exactement, c'était so le 6 mai. Donc, du 17 avril, le jour où nous avons traversé la frontière avec la Thaïlande, le 9 mai. Et le jour où nous avons traversé la frontière avec la Thaïlande, le 9 mai. Et pendant le temps que vous étiez dans l'ambassade de France, et alors que vous étiez dans l'ambassade de France, vous étiez aussi aware de savoir si les forces militaires françaises étaient stationnées au sein de l'ambassade de France. Avez-vous remarqué si des forces militaires Khmer Rouge avaient été postées à l'extérieur de l'ambassade Yes, Réponse. we could see them walking by. They were always in twos or threes. On occasion, the uh, Khmer Rouge cadre would come into the embassy, and uh, the French uh, consular officials uh, insisted on accompanying any Khmer Rouge that came in. On one occasion, they came in searching for film. Also, uh, many, many Khmer were forced out of the embassy after the first or second day. One time, two very young Khmer Rouge came into the embassy. They got into a little trouble with their cadre because they came up and they were asking for cigarettes. Consigned, they were not asking verbally. And en we're just curious about this. And then a French consular official came by, saw them, and kicked them out. Et, uh, One time, uh, I went outside the embassy through a hole in the back wall. Un jour, went out with a Japanese photographer, je suis Naoki Mabuchi. Uh, there was a small hole in the wall that was covered by straw matting. Some of the servants would come and go from the embassy without having to go through the front gate. So I went through the hole in the wall to the lake. Bangkok, the lake that used to be there, trou. Je suis allé au lac and qui était là auparavant. I was washing up, there was a rain barrel, I was with Noki Mabuchi, who spoke very, very good Et Khmer, le he was translating. Uh, I bien saw Khmer, that there were uh, armed Khmer Rouge ringing the side of the lake I was at, about every 50 meters to 100 meters were a couple of armed Khmer Rouge. Khmer Rouge armé le long du lac à the uh, Khmer Rouge that we were talking to at the hut that had the rain barrel. Nous parlions près de cette cabane uh, they, qui avait they un baril pour l'eau de pluie. And they were just Vous smiling. They weren't aggressive. Ils souriaient. Ils n'étaient pas agressifs. And I went back to the embassy to get je my camera and go back out and I got into a little trouble photo because they ressenti. found out I left Mais the embassy. Uh, J'ai eu des problèmes car on a découvert que j'avais quitté l'ambassade. 
And I, I take it from your comment that Question. that was the last time that you uh, left, the, left the embassy compound through that hole. Because that was the last time that you left the embassy compound Yes. Réponse. En effet. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to Le play now a uh, second uh, video clip for the witness. Video uh, this is a clip from the film uh, titled film Khmer Rouge, Khmer Rouge History of Genocide. De Genocide. It is uh, document uh, D108 slash 32.2R, uh, item 994 in the uh, uh, Post uh, list of audio visual materials in Xilab. Uh, it has been given E3 number E3-2348-9. Uh, and is also identified as V00172507. The clip I'd like to play uh, runs uh, from uh, the clip is from 27 minutes and 10 seconds through 27 minutes and 59 seconds from the original film. Uh, it's a number, the second clip that was provided to the audio uh, video booth, um, and we request, request that the uh, audio video booth play that clip uh, right at this moment. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. The President, you may Merci. proceed. AV Booth uh, unit is now instructed to Demander put up the de video, on video on the screen. Question. My first question, Mr. Rokoff, uh, do you recognize the location and, uh, and events that were depicted in that video? Yes. 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 And was this film taken during the period uh, after 17 April uh, when you were uh, taking refuge at the embassy? Pendant la période durant laquelle vous étiez à l'ambassade. I can't say if it was after the 17th. Je ne peux pas vous dire si c'était après le 17th. 16th or 17th. I'm sorry, but all, almost everybody in May. That video I had, I had seen at the embassy. Je vois dans cette vidéo, je les ai but it, I'm sorry, I can't tell you exactly what day. Je ne peux pas vous dire exactement quelle date. Do you, do you rec uh, did you recognize any of the people who were in the video? Des gens Can you tell us which people you, you, you recognized? I can't remember names, but I do recall some of the people visually. Some of the press, and there were a few of the local foreign community. While you were at the embassy, did you see someone who had a video, had a camera, who was taking video? Well, a number of people were taking still photos or film, uh, no video back then. And a lot of the footage shot inside the embassy, which may or may not include some of this, was probably shot by uh, Christoph Marie Froda, Austrian cameraman, who I touched on earlier, having shot the senior Sar Tamai on 17 April. The Khmer Rouge soldier with the 45 pistol. I have to assume he shot a 
a lot of footage. He was very busy in the embassy. Uh, beaucoup filmé car uh, il était très actif au sein de l'ambassade. Uh, thank you. The the next uh, area I'd like to ask you about is question. Je vous remercie. Uh, and you touched Je upon this a little questions. bit. Um, vous avez déjà abordé le sujet d'ailleurs. While you were present at the embassy, Alors were you aware of de de uh, discussions de or negotiations that were taking place between uh, representatives of the Khmer Rouge and representatives from the embassy? Entre des représentants des Khmer Rouge et des représentants de l'ambassade. Uh, it was relayed to us Réponse. by certain journalists that uh, nous nous there were talks going on on nous a dit qu'il y avait and des that the Khmer Rouge had permitted the French embassy to have radio contact de France de with the outside regarding this issue. Avec sur cette But beyond that, uh, I knew nothing Mais else. Je ne savais rien d'autre. I'd like to uh, read to you now an, another excerpt from John Swain's Question. journal. Vous lire un autre uh, this is his entry de, de for note de John Swain. Uh, 6 p.m. on the 18th of April, 1975, avril, and it is document E3-51 document E3 at uh, English uh, S00003280, Khmer, S S zero zero six four four seven one seven and French zero zero five nine seven eight four zero and uh, the uh, excerpt in Mr. Swain's journal describes a meeting that had been called by Paul uh, Ignatiev, the head of UNICEF in Phnom Penh for all the internationals, uh, quote, including the 22 journalists in the compound, les 22 journalists uh, 15 members of the Red Cross, including the Scottish medical team, six United Nations officials, and a handful of other nationalities, including Americans, uh, during which this meeting it was reported on progress that had been made, signalé que le consul, uh, quote, uh, during two meetings with the Khmer Rouge authorities who called themselves the entre guillemets, plutôt Committee bien avancé de la Ville, dans le cadre de deux réunions city committee. avec les autorités Khmer Rouge qui um, se sont appelées le comité question de la Ville. Is, do you remember Donc, being informed question, of a city committee or a committee de la Ville, de la Ville uh, that was the authority de who spoke de on behalf of the Khmer Rouge qui étaient des représentants pardon, au nom des Khmer Rouges dans des négociations avec des représentants de l'ambassade. No, I was not aware of that uh, term. Réponse, non, je ne connaissais pas cette expression. Et les réunions in the area that most of the foreigners and the press ne se tenaient pas là où il y avait des réunions. I mean, I'm, I was kept in the dark presse. about a lot of this. Were you aware that uh, there were uh, a number of uh, Lon Nol officials who had sought asylum and were located in the embassy? de responsables du gouvernement de Lon qui avait demandé l'asile et qui était à l'ambassade. Uh, yes, such as Sisawas oui. Rekmatak. Yes, I was not there when he uh, had to leave the embassy. I was in another area. But we were aware there were a number of people in there, but the uh, majority of those were just ordinary soldiers, such as the scene you showed on the video. On the video a short while ago, the soldier that was being operated on by the International Committee of the Red Cross, uh, uh, la, and he died. He was shot in the neck, Rouge but opéré. they tried to save him, and he passed yeah. away. But there were a few other soldiers there. Soldat there. Soldat there. there was a group of uh, uh, minorities uh, that came over from the other side of the Mekong. The, uh, the, uh, uh, there were about uh, 300, at 300 least, cent. in their group. They were forced out of the embassy at gunpoint. Et qui ont été chassés de l'ambassade sous la menace des armes. They were military, those 300. Ces 300 personnes étaient des militaires. Let me, uh, I'll return to, to that group of people in, in a few minutes. Um, uh, I'd like to instant, read to you now um, a, a telegram, a telegram um, um, that was sent uh, by the French consul, uh, Jean Dirac, on the 18th of April, 1975. Uh, the subject was 
political asylum. Le 18 uh, this is document avril, sur le sujet de D199 169.2.199 to repeat D199 169.2.199 and in this telegram uh, sent telegram, to his superiors in Paris Mr. Dirac reported, quote, Paris, the following Dirac ultimatum from city committee, I am compelled in order to ensure the security of our compatriots to include in the list of persons present at the embassy, one, Prince Cyric Matak and two of his officers, two, Princess Mom Manovan of Lao origin, third Lao wife Sien, of Prince Sienu, her daughter, her son-in-law, and her genre, grandchildren. Et Three, Trois. Uh, Mr. Ung Bun Hoor, President, President of the National Assembly. President de Assemblée Nationale. And four, Quatre. Mr. Lung Nal, Minister Nal, of Health. Ministre de la Santé. Barring express and immediate order Sauf from the department requesting me to grant political asylum, I will be compelled to turn these names in within 24 hours. Heures, uh, end of quote. Le nom de ces uh, you uh, made mention of Cyric Matak being at the embassy. Uh, does this refresh your recollection of other uh, significant persons associated with the law and regime who were also seeking asylum at the embassy? I had no knowledge of these other officials at the embassy. I heard about Sisawa Sirik Matak maybe two days later as to the significance of what had happened. There was a lot of confusion the first two or three days. Not certain who was in there, how many. It was a few days before the majority of the Khmer who did not have documentation uh, were forced out. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't give you an estimate, but there was a large group of military also that had nothing to do with the ordinary civilians who fled there. Are you able to tell us before people were required Question. to leave the embassy, oui, vous dire, avant que uh, forcé les gens after a few days, uh, jours, um, before that time, as of the 18th of cela. April, uh, Donc, approximately how many people were uh, uh, taking refuge or shelter at the French embassy? I'm sorry, I could not hazard a guess. Je ne saurais vous donner une estimation. Sorry. Je regrette. I want to uh, turn now to the uh, events uh, that took place on Sunday, Le uh, the 20th of April. 1975. Uh, you've already made mention of this, um, uh, but I'd like you to uh, recount for us, as, as you can, the day on which uh, Cambodian nationals who were at the embassy uh, were required to leave. Can you uh, tell us, in your words, what you remember from that day? Les Cambodiens qui étaient à l'ambassade ont été forcés de quitter. Pouvez-vous nous dire ce dont vous vous souvenez de ce qui s'est passé ce jour-là? Uh, well, it, it was kind of dark. It was, it was cloudy, and uh, there were a lot of bon, il cheerful goodbyes between the Khmer who were leaving and those who il were not. Plutôt sombre ce jour-là. Uh, il était des départs sous les pleurs. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm trying to recollect. It's very difficult. Des qui quittaient. Écoutez, j j there were a few de friends of mine difficile. in that group il that went. There were a few friends of mine in that group that it wasn't until years later I've, I've heard reports about what happened to some of these people, of the Cambodians who left the embassy and survived. Uh, there's only one I know of personally that would have been dethroned. And were you able to observe um, when these people left the embassy uh, were they required to evacuate from the city as uh, other people had been required in the previous days? Les autres personnes avaient dû le faire les jours précédents. Uh, 
Everyone headed north. Tout le monde s'est dirigé vers le nord. Group of military and their families. Le groupe de militaires uh, et leurs familles. I, I wasn't sure for a long time, for years, what happened to them. I pendant des années, je n'ai pas know that after they left, most of the people had quitté. passed out of sight. That there was fair amount of gunfire from the sports complex. Des gens ont dit qu'ils ont entendu des French Embassy. Beaucoup de coups de feu près du Some people euh, thought, oh, they're just shooting at the clouds to drive the rain away because it was raining. Certains ont dit qu'ils tiraient sur les nuages pour weather. partir la pluie. But I'm told a few years later there were reports that people were plus tard, shot in the sports complex. Who exactly? I don't know. Dans le complexe sportif, mais je ne sais pas exactement. But that was qui. told to me that that's the mais, origin of the gunfire. Non, on m'a dit que c'était la raison pour laquelle il y avait eu des coups de feu. And when when was it um, that Prince Sirik Matak uh, left the French embassy? And what did you hear of the Quand circumstances of his Matak departure? Quand le prince Sirik Matak a-t-il quitté l'ambassade et qu'avez-vous su des circonstances entourant son départ? At the time, I heard nothing immediately. It was discussed uh, a few entendu. days later. On en a parlé quelques jours plus tard. And I'll tell you, uh, some of the print journalists don't share their observations or information with uh, certain other people to include photographers. So I hate to say it, I was in the dark about a lot of things until I left Cambodia. En fait, j'étais dans l'ignorance de beaucoup de choses jusqu'à ce que je quitte le Cambodge. You mentioned a group of uh, another group of uh, soldiers, a large group. Vous avez d'un autre groupe de soldats, um, un groupe de and, assez nombreux. Uh, I want to ask you, the, the group that you're talking about, were they a group vous um, là? referred to as full row, uh, people who were uh, Montagnard des ethnic gens minorities? Qui étaient des Montagnards, qui étaient d'origine ethnique Montagnard. Yes, some of them were. And some had uh, fought in Vietnam Réponse, and oui, were in a lot of trouble in Vietnam, such as one major, Major Capado, who was uh, with uh, uh, Vietnamese uh, des elements in Vietnam when the Montagnard Revolt exemple, occurred, and because he had, uh, along with a few of his comrades, shoved a bunch of Vietnamese special forces into a, a bathroom on a train and then chucked grenades in on him. He was Ils under death sentence in absentia dans une in Vietnam from the Saigon regime, so he fled to Cambodia dans la latrine, il était, and uh, fit in perfectly with the Vietnam, other uh, et, uh, minorities living on the east side of the Maitre. Euh, and because his uh, unit's outpost was uh, le long du Mekong, besieged uh, by the Khmer Rouge for some weeks, comme and then ils he, par les uh, Major Pado, okay, Pado came to Phnom Penh. He saw me because I had been out with his unit before. He recognized uh, me. Voir, uh, he told me about uh, his uh, uh, compound, uh, which was maybe 20 miles roughly from Phnom Penh. How the Khmer Rouge had encircled it so they couldn't go out anywhere. But there were hundreds and hundreds of Khmer Rouge just passing by, just moving on towards Phnom Penh. He managed to get his wife and a couple of other people out. He escaped. He was covered with thousands of scratches and bug bites, you know, from the Made it to the Hotel Royale where he saw me. He was shocked that the Americans had evacuated on 12 April. He took his uh, people to the uh, French Embassy. And these um, Montagnard uh, ethnic minority soldiers, uh, who, whose side had they fought on in the, either the Vietnam or the uh, civil war in Cambodia? et ou durant la guerre civile au Cambodge, pour quel camp s'étaient-ils battus They fought on the American side. Ils s'avaient combattu dans le camp the, uh, des Américains Vietnamese. aux côtés des But there were problems between the Vietnamese and the Montagnards, which culminated in the so-called Montagnard Revolt. Mais il y a eu un conflit uh, entre les deux, but they qui a were fighting in their own district. Mais ils ont combattu and dans leur propre district. Worked very close with the Americans, Il not the Vietnamese. The Americans. Avec les Américains, and, and also, the group in the French Embassy was not that heavily full row. There were pas quite a few in the group, but I would say they're a minority. In that group. De du the rest were pure Khmer and 
les autres étaient marriage, des uh, mères because, de Pesouche. Car uh, Pado avait une, fra, une femme radée. He was Khmer, he, he, even though he uh, was considered ici, boutonniard by the Vietnamese, he had a strong affinity with the Khmer culture. Il avait beaucoup d'affinité uh, avec les Khmer du Cambodge. Could you explain to the court what, what full row was? Qu'était le full row? Pouvez-vous l'expliquer à l'intention du tribunal? Well, I won't use my poor Réponse. French, which is not existent. It's Federation for the Liberation of Oppressed Minorities. I believe français. that's uh, what the French je ne vais pas le faire plutôt, mais en français, to. je crois que ça veut dire Front uni pour la libération des races opprimées. And you mentioned uh, a few minutes ago Question. that you witnessed instants, the time when uh, the, uh, this group of ethnic minorities were vu. required to leave the embassy. Can you tell us what you saw, uh, what your observations were on that day? Vu ce uh, well, Pado and his wife, Pado, other people were getting all their gold and their jewelry together, ont took it off, put it in the bag. Bijouterie. The Cambodian soldier Son that was being operated on by the Red Cross had died. They were going to bury him. It took me easily a kilo to two kilos of gold and some Ils gems all in the back. They put it under his body. Ils ont mis tout cela before, sous they, son corps. before they did that, they, between Avant the gold cela, and the body, they put a grenade, they wrapped a tape around it, pulled the pin, and just left it like a movie trap. Leur, ils ont placé and then buried it. And then uh, later on, the uh, Tard, these people had to leave, but the idea was hide partir. the gold, don't let the Khmer Rouge get it. L'idée était and que les Khmer ne puissent pas prendre l'or, donc il fallait le cacher. Well, they were very calm, despite the fact they were probably calme. sure they were going to their doom. Même si ils savaient there probablement no... qu'ils étaient condamnés. Well, was, they were very calm, very quiet. Très calme, I couldn't believe, très serein. I couldn't believe it. Je n'arrivais pas à y croire. The uh, last Question. subject that I would like to uh, ask you a few questions about um, is your trip uh, out of Phnom Penh, de votre départ uh, de Phnom Penh and out of the country. Um, can you tell us uh, how it was that de you left the French embassy and traveled out of Cambodia? Quand avez-vous quitté l'ambassade de France pour quitter le Cambodge? Well, the foreigners uh, were split into two groups. Les there was the first convoy that left, and the trucks came back a few days later to pick up the rest tard, of the trucks. Chinese trucks, there were 24 Chinois, people per truck. 24 par two bench seats, six people seat, sitting on each seat, and the other 12 standing up in the center. And what bags or whatever you have in the center you could sit on. Et the driver in a Khmer Rouge, and there's a French consular official watching us Khmer just Rouge, as intently as the Khmer Rouge were. Du consul de France, qui and uh, le aussi près the que convoy le of Rouge. trucks left, le headed south on Monivong, turned right to the airport. La vers le sud, à à At airport. the airport, the, uh, there was a huge red banner flying. Il y avait un énorme drapeau rouge the qui uh, truck went past the airport some kilometers and made a right turn and headed north. Après quelques kilomètres, ils ont tourné à droite vers le nord. We went off paved roads onto trails. Nous avons quitté Pretty la route pavée well pour emprunter des chemins trails. The, uh, des convoy peril, the road assez fréquentés. Parallel government roads fairly well, but off the, road, off the main roads. C'était donc uh, Such des routes uh, secondaires. Such as going up Highway uh, 5, Par exemple, normally you would go Pour la route with Udong on the left. Well, this time we're uh, traveling with Udong on the right in the middle of nowhere. Nous, and, uh, nous avons laissé but Udong making fairly decent time. What slowed us down was each time we got to the edge of the district, vite. the convoy would stop. Khmer Rouge and a jeep would go up ahead, get clearance for us to go through the next sector. So we spent a lot of time waiting, just sitting in place. It was a two and a half day trip to the border a pris deux jours et demi jusqu'à la frontière. And when you drove through Phnom Penh, lorsque vous avez traversé Phnom Penh, could you describe your observations of the city uh, as, you, uh, as you made your way out of town? Uh, 
Most striking réponse. changes absence of people. Ce qui était Very le plus frappant, c'était l'absence d'êtres humains. Il y avait très peu de monde. Quand on voyait des gens, c'était des Khmer Rouges. On ne voyait pas de familles, ni de civils. Le seul groupe que j'ai vu, c'était des soldats Khmer Rouges. Rouges apparemment, ils like s'entraînaient près de la gare. On the road to the gaz, airport, sur la route de l'aéroport, rien du tout. Rien du tout, excepté occasional si ce n'est de temps à autre des soldats Khmer Rouge armés par un groupe de trois qui étaient au bord de la route ou bien au carrefour. Quand vous avez traversé le Cambodge, êtes-vous passé par d'autres villes, par d'autres agglomérations Et si oui, See when you went through the other cities Qui and towns of vu? Cambodia. We overnighted at a Wat Nous avons in passé Batambang. la nuit dans we un temple night, à Batambang. Nous sommes arrivés de nuit. Nous avons quitté so I had no avant l'aube. Donc, je n'ai pas gardé de souvenir visuel de Batambang. And Mr. Rokoff, I, I have no uh, further questions for Monsieur you. Rokoff, my, uh, my colleague does not terminé. have any questions. Mon frère pas non plus de um, à vous poser. Uh, Mr. President, we, Monsieur we did, uh, um, we were able to obtain some Nous photographs from DC Cam, which we distributed to people. Uh, I do not, there wasn't any new photographs there that I would use today. Uh, I would, uh, as, I would uh, as the witness has negatives back in America, and we can make a, a request to the court after. But we would certainly be interested at the least uh, if it was possible to get a hard copy of your photo at the uh, Ministry of Information that you identified in the video. Um, but uh, that's, that's something that we can request later. Uh, we have no questions at this time. And I appreciate very much you coming here today and answering, answering our questions. The President. Thank you. Merci. Next, we would like to hand over to la the League lawyers for the civil parties. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 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 Your Honours, je suis co-avocat principal pour les parties civiles et je vais vous poser quelques questions supplémentaires. Lead co lawyer de la part for the des civil parties, civils, and I have a few questions for you. Regarding the civil parties, my questions are full of questions. Que je souhaiterais avoir de votre part, and si I'll possible, seek your clarification on some qui ont été details, if it's possible. Par Monsieur le procureur. In the aftermath of the questions put to you by the co-prosecutor, you are a photographer. Allow me métier, to put some questions to you that are not only related to your profession, but uh, that are important, important because you spent two years in Cambodia and you certainly saw and heard a number of things. From a personal Ma première question and you be in a position to est relative à la période antérieure My au 17 avril 1975, puisque vous étiez là depuis deux ans. Since you had been there vous avez for two ce matin indiqué à Monsieur le procureur qu'il était difficile that it was de sortir de Phnom Penh dans les années 73, 74 et début 1975. Hormis Kampong Chnang, où vous êtes allé en octobre 1974, où êtes-vous allé pendant cette période, monsieur Where else did you go during that period, sir well. When I say it was difficult to get out Comme of Phnom Penh, you have to realize the major highways were all les cut grands routes by the Khmer Rouge. The army was always trying to open the highways, especially Highway 4, Rouge, to la get to Kampong Spu. On occasion, I, I could go there. I've been to 
Sim Reap, à Sim Reap when the government retook uh, le gouvernement a temple complex, a uh, not at Angkor, but Rulos Group, and the Ministry of Information flew some of us up on a Khmer Air Force plane, and the plane had to land on the road because the Khmer Rouge always had the airport. Nous voulions le faire, mais on a dû aller par la route parce que les Khmer Rouge contrôlaient l'aéroport. À Kampong je suis allé, j'étais blessé. J'avais déjà été blessé quelques fois sur la route 4. Ang Snul, qui maintenant est une partie de Phnom Penh, mais avant que les Khmer Rouge prennent Ang Snul, le gouvernement le prenait. Khmer Rouge le prenait. Les Khmer Rouge, en occasion, le prenait jusqu'à ce que les Khmer Rouge le prenait pour venir ici chaque jour. So the situation was very fluid. La situation Some days you could go only a little ways. Uh, and if you wanted to go to provincial si capital, usually you had to get a ride with the Cambodian Air Force. General, il fallait emprunter les véhicules de l'aviation. Uh, many of the places I had been to uh, aren't cities; they're just on the road or in the field. Des I'm sorry, that doesn't give route. you a more comprehensive list of where I went. Je ne sais que cela ne permet pas de dresser la liste complète de tous les endroits où je suis allé. Est-ce que je comprends bien que vous êtes allé uniquement dans des zones qui n'étaient pas occupées par les Khmer Rouge, mais par l'armée de Lon Nol? Occupied by the Khmer Rouge, but by the Lon Nol Army. I don't think the Khmer Rouge would let me go with them in their liberated areas. Je voulais que vous le disiez vous-même. Quand vous étiez en déplacement à ces endroits, est-ce que vous avez vu arriver des personnes qui se réfugiaient des zones occupées par les Khmer Rouges? fleeing from the zones occupied by the Khmer Rouge? Yes, many times. Oui, de nombreuses fois. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire un peu ce que ces personnes disaient, ce qu'elles décrivaient, si vous avez eu l'occasion de l'entendre à ce moment-là ou si on vous l'a raconté en précisant Ce qu'elles décrivaient quand, si à tout, vous parlez à eux pendant cette période. Period. What exactly did they say? I can't say I had the chance to speak to them, to question them about the situation. A lot of the interviews were done by refugee agencies once the people were directed to a camp. Uh, I would hear stories, second, third. Hand accounts uh, Récis, later on, but I had no direct contact main, ça, talking suite, to these pas eu refugees. Direct. Je pas pu parler the, the, Phnom Penh was like a huge refugee camp. In fact, un fact un the Hotel Cambodiana had 23,000 refugees Cambo living in Diana it. 23 000 Je vous parle pour le moment des lieux où vous vous êtes rendu. Je being, vous parlerai des réfugiés dans Phnom Penh par la suite. We'll talk about Je refugees subsequently. I have another type Pendant of question. During the period from 1973 to 1975, you were in Phnom Penh, who were journalists, who were educated and informed persons. What would one hear or what was said regarding Khmer Rouge policies during the period et parmi les personnes qui étaient à Phnom Penh, politiques ou pas. That is among you, whether we are talking of people who are politicians or not. Two things that I heard repeatedly in the last month or so of the war was durant le dernier mois de la guerre environ, when the war is over, everybody will go back to where they came from before the war. And since there were two million or more refugees here in Phnom Penh who were not from Phnom Penh, uh, that was probably good news to them. And the other thing we heard a lot was uh, those Khmer who put a million dollars or more into the fund for the final offensive would have a place in the new Cambodia. Dans le front de uh, that was Final, something that I was told was on their radio broadcast. It was part of the 
information being ça faisait partie des informations uh, sent around. qui circulaient. I don't know if anyone was naive enough to si believe that, but that's what croire. was going around. En tout cas, c'était le bruit qui courait. But the one thing that a lot of people had no problem with is going back home after the Ce war. qui convenait à tout le monde, c'était l'idée de pouvoir rentrer chez soi après la guerre. Est-ce qu'il se disait des choses sur le mode de vie des Khmer Rouges et Did des populations qui vivaient avec les Khmer Rouges Khmer Rouge sur la politique et la Khmer mise en œuvre d'une politique éventuellement Non, désolé, je ne peux pas répondre à cette question. Je vous remercie. Vous avez parlé un petit peu déjà Thank des you. réfugiés qui arrivaient dans Phnom Penh à partir des zones occupées. Vous avez Phnom parlé Penh. de leur très grand nombre aussi. Est-ce que vous vous rappelez un peu ce que ces numbers. personnes ont décrit, Can you tell us ce qu'elles ont raconté de ce qui se passait dans les zones occupées Est-ce que vous pouvez, pouvez nous en dire un peu plus the sur ce sujet what was happening in those occupied zones. Can you tell us something on that subject? I wish I could. I am not the one who interviews these uh, refugees. I'm, as I said, I'm sorry, I Comme can't je dit, answer that. Je suis désolé, je ne peux pas Est ce que vous pouvez, tout en précisant que ça n'est pas à vous qu'on l'a dit, nous dire ce que vos amis journalistes ou les gens que vous voyez vous ont raconté sur ce sujet Can you tell us whether your friends and journalists heard things and related them to you What did they tell you Nothing. They would not tell me anything. They're usually trying to find out from me. Ils ne me disent rien. En général, ils essayaient d'obtenir les informations de ma part. Ils ne me disaient rien. Ils me posaient des questions. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Vous avez parlé de l'armée et des soldats quand ils sont arrivés à Phnom Penh. Vous avez pris d'ailleurs des photos de ces soldats. Donc vous avez dit tout à l'heure qu'il y avait beaucoup d'adolescents. Ils étaient jeunes, très jeunes. Est-ce que... Young, Avant le 17 avril 1975, vous aviez entendu parler de l'armée des Khmer Rouges. Est-ce que vous Have aviez entendu des commentaires sur cette armée, Khmer sur Rouge la Army. façon dont elle était Have composée, com sur la façon dont les personnes Army étaient enrôlées dans cette armée Est-ce que vous aviez entendu dire quelque chose de la part de vos amis éventuellement et des personnes que vous fréquentiez No. Non. Est-ce que avant le 17 avril, à Phnom Penh, April, vous avez entendu citer Penh, des noms de personnes qui auraient fait partie à ce moment-là des hauts dirigeants Khmer Rouge Est-ce qu'on citait des Khmer noms leaders at the time? avant le 17 avril Did you hear any names mentioned before the 17th of April? Well, not exactly, although there was one Pardon. Cambodian who worked in Certes, the Ministry of Information, de and he kept saying lui, his brother will be here soon, his brother will be in Phnom Penh soon. This guy's name was, was Salath Chai. His brother was Salath Sar, also known as Pol Pot. He had no idea the importance of his brother. It's my understanding he is missing himself out on the highways, just like so many others. Je crois s'est perdu alors que, comme tant d'autres, il empruntait la route nationale. Et est-ce qu'éventuellement, à partir du 17 avril, vous avez entendu citer des noms de personnes qui feraient partie des hauts dirigeants des Khmer Rouges À ce moment-là, est-ce que vous avez entendu ces noms, des noms 
people who are supposedly going to be Khmer Rouge leaders. Did you hear any such names? I heard no names mentioned. I had no knowledge of any individuals or personalities. Je n'ai connaissance de personne. Monsieur, vous avez rencontré euh, le 17 avril, je crois, un membre April, du personnel de l'hôpital Préaket Melea, qui vous a dit que, c'est ce que vous avez dit ce matin, si je ne me suis pas trompé, qui vous a dit que les Khmer Rouges évacuaient cet hôpital. Mistaken, vous y êtes allé. Est-ce que cette évacuation... There. Vous l'avez déjà constaté quand vous y êtes allé Est-ce que les salles étaient vides Est-ce que les lits étaient vides Ou pas Quand vous êtes allé, il y avait des rooms vacantes, il y avait des bêtes qui n'étaient pas occupées. Ou étaient elles occupées Certaines bêtes étaient occupées par les morts. Les morts étaient sur le sol. Vous avez vu une photo plus tard d'un mari et d'une femme qui sont morts sur le sol. Vous avez Another Khmer sitting on the stairs looking at the body. I have many shots from in that hospital that day prior to walking out and being taken away by the Khmer Rouge. De the Prekhet Milia Hospital. Rouge, I knew that Mélia. hospital from having gone by there before. Also, there was a children's hospital across the street. I had been kicked out of there before taking pictures by Dr. Pete Rickner. But uh, the Prekhet Milia Hospital. As I said in my testimony earlier, dit, when I was leaving, Sienok Boulevard, Monivang Boulevard, I got a ride with somebody who had worked Sienok, at the hospital, Monivang, and he told me it was being evacuated. That is why I went there. Was I went there. That is why 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 I went À propos de l'évacuation de Phnom Penh, vous avez Regarding dit à Monsieur le procureur que des Phnom familles devaient quitter Phnom Penh et que dans ces familles, il y avait Phnom des personnes âgées, des enfants. Vous avez dit aussi que vous aviez vu les malades qui avaient dû quitter l'hôpital Calmette, qui passaient devant l'ambassade. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner un peu plus de détails, nous donner un tableau un peu plus précis de ce que vous avez vu de cette évacuation Je veux dire par là, est-ce qu'il y avait beaucoup de monde Est-ce que les gens emportaient des objets Est-ce qu'ils étaient transportés par les Khmer Rouges Ou est-ce qu'ils allaient à pied en bicyclette. Bref, est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner des détails, pour nous donner un tableau de ce que vous avez vu à ce moment-là, ce jour-là, et les jours suivants dans Phnom Penh, s'il vous plaît Vous exactement ce que vous avez vu dans les jours suivants le 17 avril dans Phnom Penh. Well, the uh, evacuation. Was not accomplished in one day. It took a couple of days. Jour, but the people, the elder, the uh, sick and the infirm, the uh, amputees, les the malades, les patient amputés, on the gurney being wheeled down the road. That, that was the second day, the 18th. I saw that. Le 18 que je vu, le I jour. had no idea what was going on in the je hospital on the 17th. I was on my way past the Calmet to the French embassy. En route vers I did not go in there to see what was happening. Et les familles que vous avez pu voir, est-ce que vous pouvez How nous en dire un peu plus you were able to see? Can you tell us a bit more about them? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, there are families oui. if you see elderly person si and uh, âgées, a male and a female and a couple of children with them, I have to assume that is the family. Avec uh, un homme, une femme et des enfants, bien, il faut supposer que c'était une famille. Est-ce que les gens portaient des biens Quel genre de biens portaient-ils Comment voyageaient-ils kind of à pied ou How pas were they traveling? Were they traveling on foot? I.e. were they trekking or not? Most were on foot. 
la plupart des gens There were a few vehicles uh, avait... being pushed. Quelques véhicules the Khmer Rouge will pile things into a car and a lot of people would push the car. Dans une voiture, et Even if it had gas, voiture. if you Même started to drive it, they would stop you. Les they didn't care about pushing si the vehicle. But Par once contre, you got north of Phnom Penh, you would lose the vehicle and all of the possessions anyways. There were very few bicycles in Phnom Penh among the 2 million, 2 million 400,000 that were here. There were not many bicycles. It was mostly what you could carry. Essentiellement, les gens transportaient ce qu'ils pouvaient emmener avec eux. Une fois que vous étiez dans l'ambassade, avec un certain nombre de personnes, est-ce que, est que vous pouvez nous dire ce qui Can se disait à la radio, ce que disaient les Khmer Rouges à la radio, radio s'ils donnaient des informations sur l'évacuation sur le nouveau régime, ou the sur leur politique, the new ou sur leur regime, façon de faire. Their policies and their practices. Well, I have no idea what was on the radio. Je ne sais pas I, uh, ce qu'on disait à la radio. I did have a I did have a radio, I could listen to BBC and a few other things, but regarding the Khmer Rouge or other broadcasts, no. And the French embassy, uh, I'm sure, was monitoring it because some journalists that were in close contact with the uh, French uh, diplomatic staff, uh, they, uh, they were given updates on things. It was up to them to pass on the word to the rest of us journalists. There was a corps of about five or six journalists that the French coordinated through. Patrice de Beers was one, Sidney Schoenberg, John Swain, the A-list of journalists. And so if they had a meeting in another part of the embassy, uh, the rest of us were not part of it. Also, the Khmer Rouge came through the embassy one time because they stated there were illegal radio broadcasts coming out of the embassy. They went through searching for radios, uh, radio transmitters. They let us keep the regular radios that would only receive. And so it's very limited as to what... Uh, we were able to find out Donc, by radio. obtenues par la radio étaient très limitées. Merci. Thank you. Est-ce que euh, on vous a donné une raison précise pour laquelle well, il était nécessaire de faire partir la totalité des étrangers it was du Kampuchea démocratique à ce moment-là. Est-ce qu'une raison vous a été donnée to be et laquelle dans ce cas-là Force to leave democratic Kampuchea during that period. Was any specific reason given to that effect No specific reason was given. Aucune raison précise n'était donnée. Uh, Although a very strange comment was made by one Khmer Rouge un after Rouge uh, a, drôle de a few days after a few days uh, we saw an airplane jours, circling Phnom Penh, four engine, commercial jet. It un turns out that a uh, third country moteurs, had sold China uh, two aircraft, violating what President Nixon wanted to do regarding no sales to China. So it had a big red tail on it. And at the time, uh, uh, Western Airlines, Northwest rouge. Orient Airlines had a red tail. So some of us saw this plane circling overhead with a big red tail. Une queue d'avion rouge, ah, nous avons vu ce rouge et nous avons pensé we look at a que c'était ces avions on the red. là, mais nous avons vu qu'il y avait des uh, étoiles sur ce fond rouge. Et il a dû, then, uh, il avait dû another flight à Pochentong, puis un autre vol. And uh, one of the Khmer Rouge uh, reps, representatives, along with the French Les consular official, came to talk français, to us briefly. Discuss food needs, Pour things like that. And exemple, one of the journalists asked him, uh, Are these planes coming si to take us out? And the guy tried to reassure Une us by saying, They're not for you. En disant, but you will be leaving. Uh, vous allez you'll be leaving by road. Vous allez par la route. And one of the journalists uh, asked, Why? Why can't we pourquoi? fly? Pourquoi and he said, because we want you to see what we have done. 
que nous voyons uh, ce qu'ils ont fait. Bien sûr, la réalité, c'est qu'ils n'ont pas montré ce qu'ils avaient fait. Mais en tout cas, c'est ce qu'ils ont dit quant aux raisons pour lesquelles uh, ils n'ont pas quitté par avion. The purpose of the two flights, I at the time had no idea. They were probably bringing in the first of the government. It just looks so strange. Two American, well, two flights of an American aircraft. Deux vols par un American-made Chinese aircraft. Chinois fabriqués aux États-Unis. Je vous remercie et j'en arrive. Thank you. Vous avez parlé du moment où vous avez quitté l'ambassade pour rejoindre la Thaïlande. You talked about when you left the embassy. Vous avez frappé à Phnom Penh, c'est que les rues étaient totalement vides. And was heading towards the Thai embassy. Vous avez dit qu'à Batambang, vous êtes arrivé la nuit et vous n'avez rien vu. Et pendant le trajet à travers tout le Cambodge, Qu'est-ce que vous avez vu et qu'est-ce qui vous a frappé éventuellement quelques jours après la prise de Phnom Penh et la prise de pouvoir par les Khmer Rouges Days following the fall of Phnom Penh and the rise to power of the Khmer Rouge. It was weeks after the rise to power of the Khmer Rouge. Three weeks later, and on the convoy out, we were not driven past any of the sites of killings. But if the wind is blowing right, you could smell it way off in the distance. Small bodies. On pouvait sentir les corps en décomposition. But they're not going to show us what they did. Mais bon, ils ne nous ont pas montré ce qu'ils avaient fait. And we didn't go on the main highway, such as Highway 5, where a lot of the atrocities occurred. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads that parallel some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road that parallels some of the roads. We went on a road by the time it got daylight, we were outside the city. So I had no idea what was in Batambang. Je vous remercie, monsieur. Je vous demandais bien sûr de ne parler que de ce que vous aviez vu. Je vous remercie. Je n'ai plus de questions. Merci, monsieur le président. 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 Thank you, Mr. President. Le Président. The President, <coughs> thank you, Council. It is now appropriate time for the adjournment. Le moment est opportun pour the Chamber will adjourn pause. for 20 minutes. Nous donc, uh, the next session will resume at 15 hours. The court is adjourned. Some doing culture.